The question is whether Ag2CO3 is a precipitate. So we're asking whether this silver carbonate, when we have a reaction, will it form a solid, an insoluble compound that falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate? Probably the best way to do this is to look at an example. So if we have silver nitrate and sodium carbonate here reacting, these are both aqueous compounds. These are both soluble dissolved in water. What will the products be? So if we look at silver nitrate and sodium carbonate, silver is positive. We have this nitrate negative. We have the positive sodium and the whole carbonate two minus. This will be a double displacement reaction. The silver and the sodium, the positive ions, they'll replace each other. So we'll have silver carbonate, AgCO3, but since the CO3 is two minus, silver is one plus, we need Ag2CO3. So there's our silver carbonate, and then we'll get NaNO3. This equation isn't balanced, but we don't really need to balance it for our purposes here. So will this be a precipitate? That's our question. So there's two ways that we can figure this out. The first is if you know the solubility rules, we can tell whether this will be, this Ag2CO3 will be insoluble, then sink and fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Ag2CO3. So in the rules, most carbonates, they are insoluble with a few exceptions. So based on our solubility rules, this should be insoluble. And if it's insoluble, it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. And we write a little S here since it's a solid. For our sodium nitrate, one of the first rules is that sodium compounds are soluble. So this will be aqueous. It'll stay dissolved. So based on the solubility rules, silver carbonate will be a solid, a precipitate in this reaction and in others. There's one more way we can look at this though. You could also use a solubility table here, solubility chart here to look up Ag2CO3, the silver carbonate. So here's silver, here's carbonate. We can see many of these carbonates are insoluble with the I there and silver carbonate that is insoluble. So again, it's gonna be a solid, it's gonna be a precipitate fall to the bottom of the test tube. So in answer to our question, Ag2CO3, silver carbonate, will be a precipitate in this reaction and any other reaction that forms the silver carbonate. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.